Good evening. It's Thursday, and it's just before the John Sanger weekend, uh, going deeper, and I wanted to give an assignment that includes this weekend. I know that you're all excited about attending the services, and so am I. So here's my challenge to you. Uh, I wanted to read a little bit of John 15, 1 and 2, uh, in regards to the dream I had with the farmer. Uh, remember, I was looking for provision in the refrigerator at the church, and the farmer appeared behind me and leaned over my shoulder and said, I mean what I say, and I say what I mean. And he showed me out in the yard that there was plenty of provision to be asking and taking, and that he'd made a plot of land specifically for my family. And he said, don't forget to ask. There's so much more to be harvested out of that place. And then he said again, I mean what I say, and I say what I mean. Uh, this morning I was praying with Lynn Maher about something, and um, that farmer appeared to me again while I was praying. And I realized it was the Father manifesting himself uh, to me while we were praying. And I just sensed his absolute joy and also commission and charge to ask. And so I wanted to read a couple of verses to you and then give you a personal charge for the weekend. Are you ready? Okay. The Message Bible, John 15, 1 through 2 says, I am the real vine, and my father is the farmer. Wow! He cuts off, wow, every branch of me that doesn't bear grapes. And every branch that is grape-bearing, he prunes back so it will bear even more. The New Century Version says, I am the true vine. My father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch of mine that doesn't produce fruit, and he trims and cleans every branch that produces fruit so that it will produce even more fruit. In the... Hang on a second. In the Weast, it says, I, in contradistinction to anyone else, am the vine, the genuine vine, and my father is the tiller of the soil. Every branch in me not bearing fruit, wow, he takes away. And every branch bearing fruit, he cleanses it in order that it may keep on bearing more fruit. In the unvarnished New Testament, it says, I am the true vine and my father is the farmer. Every branch of me that bears no fruit, he takes away. And every branch that does bear fruit, he cleanses so it will bear more fruit. In the Williams Version, I am the real vine, and my father is the cultivator. He cuts away any branch on me that stops bearing fruit, and he repeatedly prunes every branch that continues to bear fruit to bear it even more. My personal challenge to you this weekend is to stay in John 15 and stay in Romans 6. As you're walking through this weekend, listen to what John Sanger is saying, Listen to the words that Pete is bringing, Lisa's bringing. Listen to what, he, what God is speaking. I'm giving you a personal challenge to allow yourself going into this weekend to be pruned and cleansed. That you would allow the words that are being brought, that are from heaven, to go in, disrupt old patterns of thinking, disrupt behavior, uh, disrupt certain things. Uh, mindsets that you've always had about certain things, even this scripture, and allow God to make his home in your mind, in your thinking, in your, in your ways of living your life, that you would come out of this weekend personally pruned and cleansed and revolutionized from the inside so that you're ready to live a new and living way. Uh, will you write some of these things down that you're hearing this weekend? Pay attention to the things, the statements that are said that offend you. Those are the pruning shears of heaven. Um, they're offensive to old thinking patterns. Write those things down. Take them back into the scriptures with you over the next two weeks, and you will find a harvest of a completely new life operating in the next two weeks. By the time we see each other again in that room at MDCC, you will be living a different way. So I charge you to... Go into this weekend ready and available to the Father to be pruned and cleansed. Let the tiller of the soil break up new ground in you 
And don't leave this weekend um, saying, wow, what a great word, and then forgetting it. Know that on Monday, you're going to be taking this word into your life. Um, the word will be uh, challenged, tested. You'll have plenty of opportunities to use it. And by the time I see you again on our Tuesday night meeting, uh, we will be full of testimonies, and you will have a pile of carrots in front of you harvested out of the farmer's field. And um, I can't wait to hear the fruit that happens in your life. So um, have a great weekend. I'll see you at the conference. And um, stay in your John and Romans verses. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.